I probably have the worst biology, the worst childhood, 15 years of antibiotics every month because of chronic sinus infections and strep throat and all this stuff. Like, If I can do this, it, it should be far easier for anyone listening to the show. And you shouldn't have to spend $2 million to reverse your age the way I have and the way certainly Brian Johnson was just on the show, $2 million a year. If you get it right in your 20s, it's not that expensive. It's way cheaper. You're talking more like $20,000 over the first 10 years from 20 to 30. Right? It's just, it's not that much. It's still real money, but compared to what it's going to cost you later, and besides the whole time you have more energy and, and you're running circles around your friends, you're getting the promotion, you know, you end up having, you know, three spouses, whatever you're into, I'm, I'm down with whatever, but basically you have more energy than everyone. And, and that's, it, and people say, well, how do you do it all? Well, you do it because you manage your biology. So the things that we're sharing here, like you've taken 20 plus years of, of deep yeah. research to share this with people. Yeah. I mean, the concept of biohacking, you know, that, that, you, that you've put forth, I remember in, when we discovered the first effect of this blue-green algae and started to develop the first product. So in 2003, 2004, and I remember at that time, the message that I was starting to put out there is that right now, the best of health popular medicine is prevention. But prevention is just to prevent the problem. You're still, you're still not ahead. You're just, you just don't have the problem. So let's talk about really optimizing health, like go, like reach the, the best health that your body can have. And that is what we're talking about here, stem cells, but we talk about circulation. I still think today it's probably one of the aspects of health that is still not properly talked about. Or 5%. Anything anything you put into your blood, anything you want to improve mitochondrial function, well, whatever you, th you take must go into your capillaries to reach cells. Nothing in your blood means anything if your blood does not properly reach fine capillaries. It's your delivery system. That's where nutrient exchange, gas exchange, cell exchange is taking place. If you don't have good capillary circulation, it doesn't matter what's in your blood. It's almost like you'd want to have some infrared light therapy, like you, like, like you could get at Upgrade Labs. Why? Well, it turns out there's some research that I helped to fund at the University of Washington about exclusion zone water and how blood cells are bigger than the capillaries they go through. And it's physically, uh, it's physically impossible. Stem cells are too, right? It's physically impossible, except it works. And it works because of the way water changes when it's up against a membrane. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and the cell squeezing. Yeah, they squeeze everything. In. There's a lot of... A lot, mechanics. Of, a lot of cool mechanical stuff that no drug company is ever going to fund studies on, but it, it's it's kind of core biology research. Uh, so I'm uh, I'm a huge believer in optimizing that. So if you take stem regen, go lay on our infrared light bed at your nearest upgrade labs, uh, or get some sunshine. Like you don't have to go spend money uh, if if you're in a place where there is sun. Go out there, take off your clothes, don't put on some dumb sunblock for a while. You don't need to get a sunburn; that's bad. But that's going to change the ability of the stem cells from stem regen to get where they need to go. And this is one of those things I think is missing from a lot of of the conversations. The drug companies actually say, "Well, either we're not going to measure that, and they're going to look you straight in the eye and say we controlled for all variables, which they didn't, or they're going to say you're not allowed to go in the sunshine because it might change the study." But what if you need the thing and sunshine and neither one works alone? And that's how life works. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's definitely like a huge flaw of so-called double-blind placebo-controlled studies, uh, which it's funny because, you know, it's still considered by the majority as like the gold standard. Mm -hmm. And it's not. I mean, honestly, it shows you what something isolated will do, but you will never that thing isolated in your life and you'll get the best results most of the time when it's stacked for some, with something else. So studies, um, to me, I listen much more to life experience than to a study. They have their place, but life experience is so much more valuable. You're listening to The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey. 